All right, welcome everybody. Um, sorry for uh, wasting your time, uh, three minutes after seven. Okay, I, I don't know if I should start by introducing myself. Uh, and um, All right, my name is Jude Okoye. Uh, you guys know me as Jude NGs of the P-Square, even if uh, I have not had anything to do with P-Square for the past eight years. But it's all good, my name is Jude Okoye. Jude NGs, and uh, due to what has been going on for I think for the past weeks, um, normally for me, be myself, uh, now how I approach stuff like this, I normally sit it out. Uh, but I have to come and uh, make this live video because it wasn't about me anymore. Uh, my family was involved in the whole thing and uh, I have to come and tell you guys what it's, uh, uh, it's all about. Okay, first of all, let me start from... Uh, the uh, the beginning of uh, Peace Square. I, I think most of you already know the story and how uh, smooth criminals started through MNPP, then they now became Peace Square. How Peter was more of a uh, smooth criminal dancing and Paul was more of uh, singing after he broke out from s dancing with the smooth criminals, started following me around and uh, started, you know, singing. The first song that Paul ever wrote in his life was Say Your Love. That was when I knew that there's something there. And when he went to the University of Joss, I was like, Okay, this is, you know, dancing, Michael Jackson, imitating Michael Jackson in the secondary school uh, time period is fine and okay. But now that you're in university, you cannot come to the university and still be, you know, doing such because people are expecting that you should be upgraded by then. Why don't you guys, you know, fuse yourself together and possibly dance to your own music instead of you imitating Michael Jackson. Paul, bring your song, fuse it together, you guys can form a team. And that was how Peace Square came about to be. So, um, long story short, we, we started the hustle from Joss uh, together. Then we now came to Joss, uh, came to Lagos. And uh, everything is history. How I, we sacrificed everything to make the team work. How we came from Joss having nothing to Lagos. And, uh, you know, working together as a team till this moment of a crisis here and there, every now and then. We started in 2013, ending of 2013. So, it's crazy because it's kind of emotional, but it's something that needs to be said and it has to be said just to get the record straight. I, uh, because I have having issues from 2013 ending to early of 2014. I tried as much as possible to, because it has been going on since, but from 2013, 2014 was when it went out to the public, when it became public knowledge. And by then, uh, it was so difficult then to curtail, because once something seeps out to the public, it becomes a public uh, 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 pain that you cannot be able to take back. So from 2014, we had issues, 2015, 2016, 2017. Then they now had a break of almost five years and came back in 2020, ending of 2021. And now again, they're having issues again. Why I'm here is because I was, one way or the other, involved in the Peace Square saga once again, even though I have never had anything to do with Peace Square for the past eight years. Since 2016 to date, I've not been Peace Square's manager, I've not been Peace Square's director, I've not been Peace Square's anything. I have just been on my own, doing my own real estate business, focusing on my own hustle. And one way or the other, anytime there has to be any crisis affecting Peace Square, my name will one way or the other find itself in the midst. I don't know how it happens, but Peter seems to see, still have a way of bringing me inside the problem. So uh, let's start with um, the EFCC case. In uh, February, I think February ended, I started getting calls from people that have done businesses with, people that I have made payments to, and people that have made payments to me, every transaction I've ever had, uh, telling me that EFCC invited them and uh, they were asked to come and you know, account for whatever business they had with me. And most especially, all of them are all more on the Doom account. So I was believing that, okay, this problem has to do with the new government that is in place, and that they are chasing Binance, they are chasing everybody that's making, you know, the FX rise and whatever. I was like, oh, they'll just look at it and just move fast. Until somebody that um, paid Naira into the account called me and told me, yeah, they asked him to come and explain for what he did, uh, what the 500,000 Naira he paid in my account in 2015 was for. Then I was like, okay, this is not about effects of being anymore. something fishy is going on. So it's kept on coming like that. Everybody I've ever done businesses were calling me different people. And then in, uh, 20, uh, in uh, 22nd, I think 22nd of uh, April, two days to my birthday, I was invited to come to the EFCC. 
I went there with Paul. I didn't know that Paul was even invited. He showed me that, oh, he was even invited the same day. I said, okay, let's go to the same day. Let's go to the same day. When I went there with our lawyer, we went there, then I opened the file, and they were asking me, okay, this money was found in your account. I said, yes. This money belongs to P-Square. I said, yes. So what is it doing in your account? I was like, ah, ah. Why are you asking me what P-Square's money is doing in my account? It is my own share of P-Square. They were like, no, that there's a petition against me. I said, okay, let me go through. Let me see what the petition was about. Then they gave me the petition. That's when I knew that. It was Peter that wrote a petition against me since December ending of uh, 2023. The, the investigation started in 2024, January. And the petition was saying that I opened a secret company and I was siphoning P Square's money to my personal account. I was like, no. It's, this is royalties. Paul has the same publishing royalty coming to him every quarter. Peter has the same royalties coming to him every quarter. Jude has royalties also coming to him every quarter. We have an agreement within the three of us that anything that has to do with Peace Square proceeds goes three ways to the three of us. Peter gets his own, he shares with us. Paul gets his own, he shares with us. I get my own, I share with two of them. That's how it has been going. Until 2017, or rather, yeah, 2017, 2016, when Peace Square had issues with fighting in the, in the Fesus Kiamos office and all that, there was a split of Peace Square. Peter stopped sharing. Paul came and gave me money. I was like, yo, I think you can keep your money because Peter has stopped sharing. So I think what is going to happen now is that everybody should start keeping what they get because Peter is incommunicado now. Nobody can reach him. So I think that's the best thing. The Pope was like, yeah, let's everybody keep what they get. And that's how it has been for over four and a half to five years or thereabout till 2021 November when they came back together. And I did the noble thing, which was I returned the catalog back to the fold so that the three of us can be sharing it equally as usual, which was what was expected of me to do. But surprisingly, they refused to return their own. As I'm speaking to you right now, they are still keeping the royalty publishing that they receive quarterly. Peter is still keeping his own to himself. Paul is still keeping his own to himself. The one I was keeping to myself, I have returned to the fold. The three of us are sharing since 2022, early 2022, something like that. That was my story to the EFCC. And they said, okay, but the two of them are P-square. That Peter said that I was, uh, I was uh, an unemployed graduate from JOS that didn't have any job. And they had issues, when they had issues with their former manager, may so rest in peace, uh, bio, uh, that, that they now invited me to come and manage P-square for them so I can be on salary. I told him no. But I was the one that brought them to Lagos. That I was one that even made the group be square. They said, no, that was what Peter told him. I said, okay, that means when I'm coming tomorrow, I'm going to bring my CACs, I'm going to bring my MOUs, I'm going to bring every document that I had to prove that I am not just a bystander. I am part and parcel of be square. They said, okay, the, what, I should not blame them that the only be square they know is just Peter and Paul on TV. I said, yeah, I know, I understand. The next day, be my birthday, I tried to excuse them that, okay, can I be allowed not to be there on my birthday so that I can have time to attend to my guests and everything? They said, no, 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 that's okay, I should just come that day that they're going to release me. Uh, by 12, 1 o'clock, so I can go and attend to my guests. I said, no problem. So the next day I came. Now I came with just Paul. I didn't come with my, my main lawyer. And um, I gave them all the documents. The guy looked at it and was like, wow, did Peter sign this? I said, look at his signature. This is the CAC that we opened the company with, both Square Records and Outside Entertainment. They were like, you are even more than P Square. I was like, I don't understand what you mean. They said, look, you are, you are entitled to 40% shares. Why are they told them are entitled to 30%, 30%? I said, well, I'm not supposed to say it with my mouth, you can see. Then they said, okay, uh, if that is the case, so I should come and prove, I should prove to them that we have an MOU that we're supposed to be sharing it equally. I said, if the CSC is not enough, okay, we have an MOU, this is the MOU. The MOU clearly stated that the P Square comprises of three entities, Peter, Paul, Jude. Every process of the P-Square goes three ways to Peter Paul Jude. Nobody has the right to take every P-Square song, catalog, uh, uh, video, likeness, image, outside the benefit of P-Square. So in a nutshell, I was able to establish that I am not a bystander that I was P-Square, that I played my role in the P-Square uh, situation. Long story short, they started asking me some questions that I felt very irritated about, even though I did not understand them, but now I, I do understand. They were asking me, okay, I, I, built, uh, um, I built a mansion in Ikoi. I said, yes. Where did I get the money from? 
Uh -uh. No, it became, I've already explained to you what the money you said you pet it was petitioned against me in the account, what it was for. That this is my own uh, money I was keeping from the royalty. Go and check Peter's own, you see his own in his account. Go and check Paul's own, you see his own in his account. Peter cannot come and say, Jude is stealing our money from us. You come and just look at the account and see Peter's money and say, ah, Peter said uh, he's stealing his money. Look at the money here. I said, no, check Peter's account, you see his own share there. Check Paul's account, you see his own there. Why are you just flashing the light on my own alone? So... Uh, I told them that, now you're asking me, I built a mansion, where did I get the money from? This one, where did I get the money from? I was like, yo, Peace Square ended in 2017. I, 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 have I have devoted my life. From the day, I, even before I went to university, I devoted my life in Peace Square. There is nothing else I do aside Peace Square. I put my life on hold just to make sure that Peace Square succeeds. And all of a sudden, I, I am wanted out of Peace Square. I didn't have a problem. I saw what you guys are saying. Ah, dude, is it by force? Leave Peace Square alone. Leave Peace Square alone. I understand that the fans are more interested in what their favorites want, not what the truth is or what is the right thing to do. And by 2016, I decided to say, okay, no problem. If this is what they wanted, I needed to step down. Uh, let me step down. Let me step away. I stepped away. Peace Square ended. I had another thing to do. I sold my house in America. I sold my house here. I put all my sources that I had together to go and build that. I even borrowed money from a few uh, colleagues and friends to get that uh, 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 project finished. So why are you asking me where? So they now said, okay, so I'm not cooperating. No problem. I should go and get it short. I'm going to be detained and here and there and there. Okay. It happened that I was, I was, I was taken to the booking session. They, they uh, removed my wristwatch. They bagged my wristwatch, my shoes and everything. Took off my, you know, jewelry and my wallet and everything. And I was about to be sent in when somebody else now came and said, okay, that I should wait a bit. Then after like 30 minutes, then I came back and said, okay, that the boss wants me to come, and, uh, to come out and come back tomorrow morning. That's how I, I left. I think I left around uh, midnight, close to midnight of that same day. Before I got home, all my guests have finished eating my food, my drinks, without me being present, and they've gone. But I think the ones that came and left understood what was going on, but they were close friends, so I didn't have anything to bother. So it was still kept, you know, hush hush that period. So that was how I was detained, so to speak, the detaining. I spent the whole day from 9 o'clock in the morning till that midnight of that same day of my birthday. So I literally spent my birthday in. UFCC custody or detention or whatever you want to call it. So, and I came back, I was like, okay, seriously, what is the meaning of this? Somebody is uh, sending a petition against me that I siphoned money. It's like saying, you're accusing me of having a bag of rice that belongs to three of us, but you have a dozen bag of rice that belongs to three of us in your possession. How are you accusing me of the one that I have? Okay, if that's your case, let's go and see how it's going to end. The EFCC people wanted to keep it hush hush until it came out in the public domain that, oh, Peace Square are uh, now in the EFCC, they're having tussles and here and there. I had nothing to do with Peace Square. I just had a petition against me about royalties. Then all of a sudden, the royalty thing now shifted when, this, when he found out that all these allegations are not holding anything because the, what he told them that me being a bystander is not what was established. It was established that I was part and parcel of Peace Square on papers and everything. So he now went now back to 2009, uh, 2008, 2009, when we came to Lagos, the first account we ever opened for me to explain every transaction that's ever happened in our account for over almost 19, 20 years. I can't even remember the money I spent last week. And someone is asking me to account for money spent 19 years ago, what it was for. Every money that has my name on it in the account must be explained. I was like, okay, no problem. Let me get it. Let me see what I can be able to do with that. I was able to, by his grace, have, if not all of them, most of the accounts that he was pointing at. Most especially, there's this three that he was mentioning. I think that's how he was trying to get Paul involved in the whole thing. Saying that uh, me and Paul were sharing monies without sh giving him his own share. He now pointed out where there was an account where Paul had $100,000 and there's none for him. And that place where Paul had $150,000, there was none for him and one of whatever. Then I was like, okay, let me go and look at it and find out what, because it's been like, that was 2013 and 2014. I said, let me go and check it out. That was over 10 years ago. Two, three days later, I came back with my defense, and I was like, this $100,000 he's complaining about was exactly the same day he got engaged to his girlfriend, then girlfriend, now wife. He bought a Range Rover for her, same day, same time. Paul did not buy a Range Rover for anybody. He said, dude, put my own in my own account, and I, I did that. Why are you calling EFCC on me to come and explain what Paul is doing with $100,000 in, in, in his account when you use your own to buy a Range Rover to engage your wife? Same day. The second one of $150,000 uh, $150, was on the middle of January 2014. You told me you wanted to buy a Bentley. I gave you $200,000. Paul said, I'm not buying a Bentley. Put $150,000 in my account and send me $50,000 to go to America to catch fun with. 
and now you are asking me to come to EFC to come and explain why Paul has $150,000 in his account, an account and you don't have yours. Paul has $150,000 in an account, you had a Bentley. The thing was so annoying, so frustrating that I am now, in the, I am now the person that has to be explaining what your memorable, memorable uh, times, periods are supposed to be for you. Am I supposed to be the one to remind you of when you engaged your wife with a Range Rover? That was when Paul had his money. The data is very clear there. Am I supposed to be the one to tell, tell you that you bought a Bentley? You bought a Bentley, but not buy a Bentley. That's why Paul had $150,000 in his account. Now, I am now heading in the EFC to come and be explaining that. That I'm giving Paul that amount, then I'll go behind and share it with Paul. Now, all those accusations now went. There was one again that he, hold, he held very dear. Very little amount, 25,007. That's why he got uh, uh, Jason Njoku involved or something. That there's when money got into our account, 25,700 and something thousand dollars, that me and Paul within four hours or whatever came and split the money in half. Yeah, it was true. I saw it, and I was wondering, why would 25,000 something get into our account, and me and Paul would share the money into two immediately? Then I was like, okay, let me go and investigate, and I went back and I checked. And lo and behold, there's an email that Peter wrote to Iroko, uh, telling them that they should split the money into three and send him his own, because Pisco is having issues, and he doesn't want the money to be put in our, in our general account. Jesse now wrote an email saying, okay, gentlemen, after discussing individually with the three of you, this is how the money is going to be shared. Jude plus Paul. $25,750. Peter, $12,850. Peter's money was sent to him directly. Jude plus Paul's money was now sent to Northside Entertainment account, which he now saw in the account and picked it out and said, this is the evidence that Peter, Jude and Paul are sharing money behind his back. This thing happened in 2016. And EFCC is holding me, asking me, interrogating me on that to explain. What am I trying to say? Everything about this EFCC thing is just mind-boggling and crazy. Now let's go to the secret company. My people, the secret company is none other than Northside Music Entertainment. I signed Cynthia Morgan with Northside Music Entertainment. All Cynthia Morgan videos has Northside Inc. in it. How is it a secret company to Peter all of a sudden in 2024? No, I want to understand. How is Northside Music that has a CAC certificate registration since 2015? How is Northside Music that was registered, according to him, the... Address of the secret company was my wife's. That's how we got had to get my wife involved. It has to do with my wife's uh, people's or my wife's home address. Please look at the address here. You can see what the address says. It's 178 Lola Holloway, Omole. Both my address, both my signature and Ify's signature says the same thing. Can you see that? Look at it. So why would it say Umu Keke Ifoma Chidima 178 Lola Holloway? Jude Okoye Chidoze, 178 Lola Oluwe. This is the same Squareville. That's the address of Squareville, where the three of us, Peter, Paul, and Jude, lives. Or well, rather, we were living then. That was the address that was used to open the secret company. Peter has to look for a way to make whatever that has to do with my account look fraudulent. I don't understand. CAC, every company registered in CAC is in public domain. This thing has been registered for nine years. Sita Morgan was signed in um, October of 2013. Then I wasn't expecting to sign Sita Morgan. Like you people already know, the contract was prepared by Sita Morgan and her then manager, Joy. They came to my room suddenly begging, begging, let us do, let us do this. So I did not have any company that I run with. I'm already running with Northside Entertainment, which was P-Square and me. I was like, okay, to make it a little formal then, I now use the letterhead of Northside Entertainment to print the first page of that agreement, but whatever write-up that is about the agreement is talking about Northside Music Inc. This was 2013. We're talking about 11 years ago. What is so secret about Northside Entertainment? Everybody in this entertainment circle knows about Northside Entertainment except Peter. He, found, he, he all of a sudden was shocked that he discovered a secret company called Northside Entertainment, Northside Music. So. Now, my wife got entangled in it because obviously you cannot open a corporate account in Nigeria as a single entity in 2015. I don't know about now. So I had to get her inside as my second director, and that was how her name ended up in this document. When I went to the EFCC, we had to go and sit with the EFCC boss, the three of us. And the man asked Peter, why do you bent, are you bent on wanting to involve Jude's wife in this matter? We have investigated for six months. There is no where, there is no how, there is no means that we have found any connection that has to do with her. They just used her name as a second director in the company 
company registration. She's not in the banking. She doesn't have access to the account. She doesn't have any security. She's not security to the account. Why do you always want to have her involved? I've told you several times to leave her out of this. And Peter's answer was, uh, he has to get her involved because if the table was turned the other way around, we're going to involve his wife. That he should go and see what I was talking about his wife on social media. Please, I want to ask you people. I have one million naira to send to anybody that can go on Google and find any time I posted a tweet or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, any defamatory whatever on Peter's wife. Please, the first person to send that thing to me on my DM will win one million naira. I don't understand. Sometimes I, I, I keep saying it from that 2016 that Peter needs help. Peter needs prayer. It looks as if I'm making a jerk of him, but that is the fact. There is nothing I have not done to a point that I have left this square for you for eight years. I am not managing you. I am not directing for you. I'm not giving you any opinion. I am not, there is nothing. You are going your way. I'm going my way. I wish you guys well. When you guys came back in 20, 2021, you called me. There's a video out. Manager, manager, manager. I told you, oh, no, 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 no. Let's enjoy the failure for a day or two. We need to come together and find out when this is over, what happened four, five years ago. He said, why do I need it? I said, no, no, no. You cannot post a brand like P-Square for four, five years. I just say, no, 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 nothing that happened. We don't come together. I said, no. If it's me that is faulty, tell me what I am doing wrong. It, whoever that is, everybody should just come and vent and call. We, apart from P-Square, that brotherhood should come together. Because not just say, no, 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 it's okay. Let's, they said, okay, okay, we agreed. After a week, I noticed that nobody was calling me to for the meeting. I decided to call for the meeting myself. I said, okay, let everybody come together. Can we have this meeting? First thing that Peter came out from me, that Peter brought it out from his mouth was, I beg, we know you that I beg. Me and Paul don't say, let bygone be bygone. That was his word. Me and Paul don't say, let bygone be bygone. I was like, oh, was it just Paul that was involved in this thing? Why can't we sit down? Even if it means bringing the wives too, let all of us as family sit down and fashion this thing out. Something strange happened that made this brand to go in, in, uh, in communicado for five, six years. No, four and a half, five years. We need, it needs to be explained. If not, it's going to happen again. And Paul was like, no, no, Jude, if you say let bygone, bygone, let's look for how to. Just, I let it go. I don't want to push it further because everybody was still enjoying the fury of their back. I, I just let it go. Then we started talking about how to uh, uh, start the new managing uh, of P-Square, the new ideas, and how to bring the brand back. I was trying to open an account that will have uh, the three of us alert a new account because the old one was been dormant for long. Only for my phone to ring, Peter called me. Paul called me. I said, where was I? I said, I'm in my parlor. I'm signing. He said, no, 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 leave that way. They try open. Just come from my house. I said, okay, what's the problem? He said, just come. I said, okay, give me two minutes. Let me finish filling this form. He said, Jude, that's the way they feel. If you don't need them, just they come. I was like, I don't understand. Can't you give me two minutes? Now, Peter now picked the phone. I said, Jude, that's the way they feel. No need. You know, be saying, you know, go finish them. You don't need them. Just they come. The thing is, the paper is still here with me. I just told the guy that, you know what? When I finish filling the form, I'll call you to come and collect it. It's, I have an urgent meeting to attend to. I went to Paul's house. Peter was seated. Paul was seated. I sat down. Then Peter was like, they have, done, uh, they have had a meeting yesterday and said that they are not going to need me for the peace we are moving forward. I was like, why? He said, because that is, the, that is the, the condition he gave Paul if they are going to come back as peace square, that Jude is not going to get involved. And for you people that are saying that Jude, Paul is always hiding Jude, Paul is always hiding Jude, Paul sided with Peter and got me kicked out of peace square. This thing happened... Uh, Early December 20, 2021. Early December 20, I can't remember the date exactly. Does that one look like somebody that is siding with Jude? Does Paul look like somebody that is siding with Jude? But that just by the way. So, I said, okay, no problem. Paul, you have done Root Boy for almost five years now. I gave you all the support. I gave you all the uh, assistance that you needed. I even edited all your videos, if not all, most of your videos, for free. Did you ever pay me? No. Have you ever played any show that you got as rude boy and you paid me anything? He said, no. I gave you all the assistance, he said, for that for five years. Even though nobody knew what I was doing for a living, he said, I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to extend the same gesture to P-Square right now. You guys can take your decisions. You don't want me to have anything to do with P-Square. Take your decisions on yourself, run your things. But if you need any help, I'm always available. Let's do that that way. I left them. No hard feelings. P-Square or no P-Square, we still have to keep the brotherhood. And when I went to Abuja, a week later, at the pool side of the hotel that we were staying, we were like five of us that came from Lagos. Then some few Bogolada people, Abuja people that they have known from school days and everything. There were like 14, 15 of them, including us. I was just sitting drinking with Paul and some other people then. Peter walked up to me and was like, he wants to seek my opinion for, on something. That what do I think? What do I would think if, if we go invite Mehdi for the show where they want to do by that December, their only first show in December? 
what was my what is my opinion? I said, invite me D. I said, no. Why do you want to invite me D? He said, because people go feel him. That the people don't that peace where I'm Medi, you know they're in good time. But if you bring him as a surprise, he go wow the fans. I say, I say yes. I don't say go wow the fans. I know Martin. But has Medi reached out to you? Has he apologized? Has he made up with you after all the things he has said about you on social media? I was like, no. If say if Medi don't make up with him, I said, okay. If Medi has made up with you, has he made up with Paul? Has he made up with me? Peter exploded. What they concern me? What, what, why does he give a fuck if Medi makes, makes up with me? All he does is do, show Paul, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Won't Lagos. I go invite Medi, come, make him come, apologize to you. Once I apologize, that's all. Fuck, fuck off, I don't, we don't need you. I was like, what have I said now that is wrong? What have I said now that is sparking this, this rage? You asked me a question, an opinion, and I gave it. Why are you by getting backlash now? As in, what is the meaning of this? I stood up, Shew, post manager, and uh, 20. Stopped me. I was like, Jude, no, no, no. I said, I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I just want to go and cool off. I can't stay here. He was high screaming that I should be grateful that it is because of him and Paul coming together that I am here. I, I, I didn't understand what that statement meant. That I should be grateful that because they came together as Peace Square again, I now found myself in Abuja. As in, I cannot come to Abuja. I've never been to Abuja. I don't understand what that statement meant. That was what I heard. Last thing I heard when I was leaving. And I left. I went to my room. I slept. I woke up the next day. I told myself, even the assistant that I was trying to render or give to them for free, I think I should just withdraw it and just move my team. I should not be interested in anything peacefully. And that was how it has been. I've Anytime that they release any video, the way people are seeing the video or the new song on telly is the same way me I'm seeing it. I never got involved in anything peacefully. Ever. Until EFCC invited me. Two and a half years later. Now, everybody keeps saying, ah, oh, Jude, go back, to, go and say to your brothers, you are the elder one, you are the elder one. Yes, I am the elder one, but I am not the first son. We have two elder ones. I have two elder brothers. I keep saying this, but that doesn't excuse the fact that I am their elder brother. But please, somebody that doesn't regard you, respect you as an elder one, how do you tell that person? How do you, how do you put that person in order, so to speak? How, 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 no, I want you two people to help me. What do you think I'm not doing right? Go and say to your brothers, if a referee becomes a target of two boxers that you're supposed to referee on, how does it settle the fight? I became a target from the day, what is that? Uh, don't worry, it's not necessary. Don't worry, I don't know how to. So, Hold on, please, excuse me. I don't like this. Right. Sorry, some people are not happy with the comments that are going on. So, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Um, I'm forgetting what I was even saying. Okay. So, basically, I'm, what I'm trying to say, in essence, is that I've not had anything to do with Peace Square for the past eight years. I don't know what people are expecting of me. I decided to move on with my life. These people are not babies. These people are 45, year old, 45 years old this year. These people are going to be 45 this November. They are not babies. These people are, they have children that are teenagers, for crying out loud. If they are in America, they will be grandfathers now. Why is it that Peter always finds a way to put blames on me when anything goes wrong with him? Because he has already uh, uh, had that impression that, oh, the people always call you the other one, go and say to your brothers, go and put your family in order. What do you mean, go and put your family in order? My family is in order. Let them put their family in order. If they are doing business together, let them put it in order. I have tried to the point that I sacrificed myself. I mentioned this thing when I was doing with, uh, uh, with Tunde Not. I, 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 I have practically done everything possible. What is expected of me now? No, you two, tell me. What do you want me to do? You have to look for a way to go and twist the EFCC situation to make it look fraudulent. The address he was talking about, uh, uh, if uh, my wife having uh, her people's address, was the address of the account opener. The accountant that opened the account address. He went and pissed, what account opener? Oh, they, they opened an the account with the address and now came out and said, the Coca, Ajayi Coca Street or whatever in, a, in a, uh, Yaba is my wife's home. My wife has never lived in, uh, on the island. She came from Wari to Jakonde, from Jakonde, where I met and the rest is history. What 
How did you see an address and just concluded that it's my wife's home address? If not that you are looking for a way to just put that thing out there, that these people are fraudulent. No entertainment has been existing for 11 years. It became a shocker for you. Seen it after 11 years. So Mr. Morgan was signed on Nossa Entertainment since 11 years. It's like me coming out to say, P Classic is a shocker for me. Oh, I'm just seeing it. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, secret company. Or me coming out to say, Root Ball Record is a surprise. It's a secret company because I don't have any affiliation to do with it. Uh, your your uh, P Classic, I don't, it doesn't have any affiliation with me. Everybody has their own separate uh, company that they run aside P Square. I also have mine. So what is the problem? I wanted to keep silent and wait for the EFCC case to finish. But I was like, if the EFCC case finishes and you come and make a comment, it looks as if, oh, because you don't free yourself or because the thing don't end, I don't get myself. No, I think it's time to come and say something. I, I think I need to come and put this thing right. So, um, I stopped at the other words. Uh, okay. Um, what is this? This APC man that mentioned, I saw it online. That talked about us, if we have elders in our family, if we have uh, uh, people in our family, the elders, the Igwes and call, our family members. I'm not going to lie to you. Paul, Paul uh, kind of attacked him, but I, I beg to differ for what Paul did. The man was right. Yes, we have elders. We have family members. We have uh, Igwes. We have uh, elderly people, so to speak. But the question is, how could one of them Nova make, don't make any impute. They have. Our Igwe of our village have. Prominent members have. Our cousins and aunties, our aunties, all of them, uncles, all of them have. Peter doesn't listen to anybody. See, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to put Peter down. I'm not trying to make him look bad. I'm not trying to say I'm a saint. I'm just trying to say there is nothing humanly possible that people, not just me now, people have not done. They make offer. Let you find your bar. Dan Tata. Name them. Prominent men, governors, ministers. Everybody. Once they hear from him, they hear from me, they hear from Peter, and they're making a final submission, and the submission is not going towards Peter's favor, it will explode and walk out. Steady, steady. Steady. They got tired and they forgot about it. I also got tired and I forgot about it and moved on. Why am I still always involved? I don't understand. Eight years, for eight good years, I have not had anything to do with Peace Square. For eight years. I have survived outside Peace Square for eight years. Now, that is the biggest problem. Peter went to EFCC. After, peace, after they had issues with Okay, let me talk about the issue before he went to EFCC. Last November ending to December, I was sitting at Paul's poolside watching TV. I'm not going to tell you what I, what I was told. I will tell you what I, uh, uh, what I saw. And I started hearing screaming from the other side. The guy that was sitting next to me, I was like, as Paul's boy. I said, what's going on? He said, Paul is the other side. I said, what is he doing there? He said, I think they're having a meeting. Then the voice became so loud and so loud. The noise was now approaching towards my back because I was facing the TV and there was a door behind me. Next thing, as I was just turning back like that, I started hearing, Where are our children there? Where are our children there? You loser! Where are our children there? Next thing, Paul barged into the gate violently. Peter came forcefully behind him. And as I just turned, we made eye, I made eye contact with Peter. He now turned back and went back into his compound. Then Peter's uh, uh, manager, MM, now held Paul. Went to her knees. Paul, please, Paul, Rudy, plus, Paul, please, uh, you never heard it. Plus, Paul, you never heard it. You never heard it. I was just surprised. I was just looking at them. Then she walked back in. Paul went inside, cleaned himself up, and now came back. I, I was like waiting for him. Like, Guy, what did I just witness now? What, what happened? And what was going on? That they, were, they had been having issues, and he thought that the only way that the issue should stop is to have a permanent solution to the issues. If Peter is complaining that he doesn't uh, get uh, his ideas, cont contribution, uh, in the P Square brand, that what they are going to do now is that if they are going to be doing everything 50 50, like for instance, now they said they wanted to have a, uh, an album or whatever, somebody wants to get their album for 10 tracks. He said, Okay, you will bring half of the album, I'll bring half of the album. You'll be in charge of your five songs, I'll be in charge of my five songs. You promote your five songs, I'll promote my five songs. If you want to shoot a video, you have an idea of the video, instead of conflict with mine, shoot it with your own, in your own five songs, I'll shoot mine in my own five songs. But 
to have that union of P Square, I'll have my songs come to you and say, okay, Peter, come and feature in two, three, four, or five of my tracks. Do the same thing. Let's have that union. So that we can be able to protect that P Square uh, sound, that texture that people already fell in love with P Square, so we can still maintain it. That Peter rejected that idea. That was what brought the argument. I was like, that's a good idea, by the way, because this idea now will mean that there will be no more conflict. If I'm disrespecting you in the studios, this time around, we don't need to be in the studio together. If I'm disrespecting your ideas of a song, this time around, put the ideas in your own song. If I'm disrespecting your ideas to shoot, how we're going to shoot a video, what to feature in a song, and I decide to say, oh, let's, let's go and feature Osha. You said, no, you want to feature uh, 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 whoever. Go on, whoever you want. Use your money, bring the person, feature the person. At the end of the day, that your five song, register it. Copyright it as your own. I'll do likewise. To my own. If the song went now my own, now in blow, or your own, now in blow, whichever one will blow, when they call us for P Square, we'll climb stage together, we'll perform finish, we'll go collect our money, we'll split them 50 50. But when it comes to royalties, streaming, whatever, the only way they come for your name of your own songs being go to you, the only way they come to my own, make it come to me. That, that was exactly what he proposed. And Peter was in agreement with that. That was what caused their fight. I was like, okay, if he doesn't agree with that, let him tell you. That was my advice to Paul. Let him tell you how he wants it to be. Then you guys can like come to us immediately. Paul was like, no way. That he cannot stand anymore when a song that he does alone, sang alone, him and Peter will come get a problem. Peter will carry that same song when they perform as a solo artist. That Peter did the same thing in Bankalat. And I, I agree with him because I was there. Bankalat was Paul's first Root Boy solo song, debut, so to speak. He spoke to uh, Clarence and shot some part of the video before Peter came back in 2016. So by then, Clarence was like, ah, Peace Square is better. Peace Square is better. Peace Square is better. You know what? I don't mind. I'll, I'll shoot this video continuously without adding any money for you guys. I would do the other one. Make, I'll go wait for another set to finish money and I can't do the video. And that was how Peter got involved in the video. So a year or so down the line, they had issues again. That same period, Peter went on stage as a solo act and was performing the song. While Paul was seated at home with me. So he was like, he felt bad about that. That he, The only solution for that not to happen again, if I register my own song, register your own songs, but it's called Peace Square together. When you go solo, you go respect my boundaries, carry your own song, go they perform, make I carry my own, they go perform. No, be saying, when I go down super finish, do some finish, we carry and call and Peace Square, you break Peace Square again, carry and go they perform. I was like, that's a good idea, but still, ask him to give you a suggestion of what he wants. That was the last I heard from them until EFCC invited us. So, I'm trying to make people, give, give people that background that I did not have any contribution for Peace Square. I did not have any communication for Peace Square. I did not have any interaction with Peace Square. I did not have any, anything to do with Peace Square whatsoever for eight years. But guess what? Anytime they have issues, I will be the forefront person that they will put in front. Okay, some of you are saying, eh, why are you always siding one person? Why are you always siding one person? I just gave you an instance now that Paul sided with Peter to get me kicked out of Peace Square, ending of 2021. I have something I'm going to post later for you people to see on Monday. I have a lot of things I'm going to post, but I can't be able to do it. I wanted to be doing it here, but for the time being, to not to waste people's time or boy people's time, I can't be able to do it now. I'll post everything on Monday. They had to go and do a to whom you may consign whatever and send it to people that are sharing our, our royalties to undermine my authority and remove me from catalog. Meaning, okay, you have removed me from Peace Square. Now you want to remove the only legacy I have to show that I was once a part of Peace Square. Paul signed it. Peter signed it. The two manager MM and she will sign it. I have it with me here. I'm just trying to make you understand that. Why are people always saying I'm siding with Paul? I'm si Paul is siding with me. No. That is the game that Peter knows that you people are always falling into. So he will keep doing it as far as he just come and say, you are signing, making Paul a weak person. You are siding with Paul. Okay, what does it mean by uh, uh, you are siding with uh, Paul is always siding with Jude, knowing fully that Jude wants to oppress me for crying out loud? How me? Could take oppress Peter. If then put Peter here and I put me here now, babe, go, fo go follow me, leave Peter. No, let's be realistic. I know be superstar. I know be artist. I know they for poster. I know get followership for social media. What would what is that thing that will make that I will ever use to oppress Peter in this life? That Peter will come and say, Paul is siding with me, knowing fully that I, me, want to oppress him, Peter. How? Peter, I don't drive Bentley. I never drive Bentley for my life. You carry Range Rover and get your girlfriend. I don't even that GLE of 2012. My wife says drive to today. How 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 are they how I how are they take oppress you? No, how? There has to be a way to bring Paul, connect her with Jude, and everything will fall into places. It has been like that for the past ten years. It hasn't changed. They say a man does what works. Once something works, a man is tend to repeat it again. 
That has always been the pattern till date. Even after eight years of having nothing to do with Peace Square, that pattern is still working. Because there's that emotional sentiment. Ah, go and settle with your brothers. Why are you only side one person? Why settle with your brothers? 45 year old men. They all have gray hair now. And they bab, they dye my hair, they man they wait for their turn to dye their hair. What am I supposed to do to have my peace? Jude, leave peace square alone, leave peace square, stop managing them, stop managing them. I've left them for eight years now. Now it's go and say to them, go and say to them, go and say to them, go and say to them. If I enter say to them, they will carry the whole problem. Put from my head. They told me, don't ever put your opinion, don't ever get to contribute to your this thing. We don't want to have anything to do with you with peace square. I have left them. Tell me what else am I supposed to do to find my peace? Even if I come up from here now, go to live for Iceland. Peter will sit up and say, Paul decide with me. So that the backlash will come again. Okay, now let's go. The issue of, um, I think I finished the issue of uh, uh, EFCC. So the EFCC uh, investigation is still on. So I was able to get my petition in place against P Square because that's the only way I can defend myself. If, I, if they were all busy focusing on my account to see what Peter alleged I was having as P Square royalty. I couldn't get them to focus on their account to see the evidence that what I am having, they are also having their own share. So I have to go and put in a petition so that they can now have authorization from me officially to look into their accounts so that they can bring everything that has to do with P Square process. They go put them for the table. They go see what everybody gets in there. What time they get back in their account. So basically that is what my petition was all about. And that is, I believe, what the investigation is on. I'm not, the EFC are doing a very good job. They are very thorough. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. If you are in trouble, if you do anything illegal, and the FCC put their tight light on you, you know, if you don't go anywhere. Those people are very, very thorough. Then they tell me where I, I, I changed money 16, 17 years ago, I don't remember. I don't even know people I even send the money to. So, now, what is giving me a heartache, mostly, about this EFCC, EFCC stuff was, Peter never, not once, came to me and said, brother, please, I'm having some issues with this money thing. I saw this money going to your account, or I saw this thing. How did, how did he see the money going to my account? He never came to me. On, in December, end of December, I remember the picture I took with my son that I posted. End of December to early January, I saw him. He walked into my company when I was going out with my son, when I was going to the company to play with my son. He was like, hey, how are you? Uncle Papa is here. He played with my son and everything. He now asked me for a hand tool that I had. I told my boy to get it for him, and he now left. Only for me to two months later, to be invited by the EFCC. And when I saw the petition, my, my heart skipped a bit. I was like, oh my God, this guy came to my compound to come and play with my son, knowing fully well, he just wrote and submitted a petition against me. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't put that together. I, 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 I almost lost my mind. Wait, you, you were just playing with my son two months ago. And looking at your petition and the dates, it was very obvious you have already submitted a petition against me and you came and put up a face. You smiled with me and you played with my son and you borrowed my tool from me and left. I can't get that out of my mind. It's hard. It's so hard. I can't. It's hard. Not that I don't want to. I've tried so much to, to see if I can forget that. It's just not leaving my head. You, you said I was taking money that I'm entitled to. You get your royalty when it comes, when it's due, you share it into three. Paul gets his own, he shares into three. I get my own, I share into three. Peace Square had issues, you stop sharing. I told Paul, stop sharing too. Let everybody keep what they get. And it has been like that for over four and a half years. Peace Square came back together. I did the noble thing. I brought it back to the fold again. Everybody continued sharing again. But till date, two and a half years later, after they came back, Paul is still not sharing, Peter is still not sharing. They get it, they keep it to themselves. I said, no problem, let me move on with my life. I see a drop in the FCC. Because once you mention Jude, I mentioned Peace Square inside it, the person to carry the blame is already available. So, what I'm trying to say now is please, if any of you have an idea, because I've run out of ideas, I've sacrificed, I've sacrificed to a level that I've even sacrificed myself and got myself removed. For eight years now, it's like my, my removal is not even yielding any result. So, you people tell me now, I'm throwing it out. Tell me what you want me to do. I've run out of ideas. 
I don't know what to do anymore. I have two other ones. They don't, he doesn't listen to any of them. In fact, he doesn't talk to any of them. Don't talk to any of his siblings. So it's a shameful thing according to that politician, yes. It's a shame that there's no elder in a place that can put these things in order. It's just the fact. There's none. I've run out of ideas. There's nothing I can do. So, please, if you people think you have something that you think that uh, that should be done, you let me know. I think uh, I don't know if there's anything that I have not uh, said or put into. Uh, it's like one hour now already. So I think, please. Um, my wife has nothing to do with the case. Peter was just uh, looking for a way to infuse that fact to make it be uh, sensational. And there's something that happened also that I think you should know. The last time we went to EFCC, uh, the person that Peter gave the information to leak that first time that people, people get to know that we're having issues with, uh, that has to do with EFCC, the person called me to get my own side of the story and told me that Peter gave him the story to leak out that if he doesn't give it to, if she doesn't leak it out within uh, how many hours she's going to give it to Trinidad North, then she said, okay, she's going to leak it, but she's going to get her own side of the story, my own side of the story uh, from me. She now told me that, sorry, that there's something that Peter told her to do that she, she was ashamed to do it, that she should come, be in Peter's car and the day we were supposed to meet the EFCC boss that she should record me coming down from the car with my wife in the EFCC office to make it sensational that she couldn't do it. But you can imagine, two hours after I went to the EFCC office with the boss and we came out, my wife sent me a link, a link of a, that same blogger already putting out a story that as we speak now, Peter Paul Jude are in EFCC office. So imagine what would have been if she was able to stay, agree to what she said and now put it out and say, okay, uh, that um, all the uh, she had a picture of Ify or my wife, my wife coming down from my car, being escorted by the EFC office. Is that not going to be a sensational uh, storyline? Oh, Ify has been arrested, or Ify has been uh, reeled in to, for questioning of her involvement in the uh, secret company uh, fraudulent whatever. She refused to do it. She told me. So now you can see why he went to the EFC office in that same meeting. The man asked him. Why? No, no. It started with Peter saying he demanded that all the directors of Northside Music should be present in this meeting. That if he was told that none of, all of them are not in this meeting, that he wouldn't have come. The man was like, I don't understand what you mean. Me, I was like, are you insinuating that my wife should come here, sit down here, and be looking at you? He said, eh, because if that's the, if because that's what he demanded. The man told him that we don't work like that. This is a commission. We follow the evidence. We have investigated for six months. She has nothing to do with the account. Jude was the only person that signed to the account. Jude was the only one that has access to the account. She was just used to open the account, uh, to open the company that was used to open the account. Her name was just there as the director. So Jude is the only person that has access to the account. That's why he's here. Leave her out of it. He said, no, he cannot. Because if the table was the other way around, we would have involved his wife. I said this before. I'm looking for people that we're not listening before. So you can see how desperate and important it was for him to bring that other blogger to come and record a video because he has already made a demand behind that all the directors should come, meaning he's expecting me and my wife to come. Then when I appeared only me, he, he got pissed off that my wife was not there. That means the sensational story he was looking for will not be there. So please, uh, all the insults on my comment session, in my, on my wife's comment session, I saw them all. And I don't blame any of you. You want your peace square, and justifiably, true and right, you deserve to have your peace square. You believe everything he said, justifiably true, because Peter is believable. No doubt about it. Even my close friends that have gone to him, that he showed whatever he showed to them, they believed him. But when he came to my place, they knew all of them were just false, as in frivolous, useless claims. So, please, let it stop. I've moved on in my life. It's been eight years. My wife has nothing to do with this case. Let's have our peace. If you have any idea of what you think I can do to see get the peace way back, my hands are open. Send me a DM. Tell me whatever you think I have not done that needs to be done. I am, I've run out of ideas. I don't know what to do.
I'm in a, I'm in a fix right now. I I don't know what else to do. Don't sit down and be telling me, no, you are the elder one. Go and fix your family. Go and talk to your brothers. Just have it in mind. These are 45 year old men. They're not kids. They're not babies anymore. And these are people that can be able to take charge of their life and decide what is good for them. I have nothing to do with it. I have two elder ones. If, if you're looking at me as if, ah, the last card, the last card decision comes from me, I'm the eldest one. No, I have two elder brothers. Please. You guys ask me to leave. I have left. You guys asked me to get them back together. I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. There's nothing I can do again. I was still asked to leave and I've left. It's been eight years. Please let me have my peace. I beg you. Let me have my peace. I don't know anything again that you want me to do. Not that I care. I'm being very honest with you people. Sorry if I sound very angry or offensive or whatever. But that is the fact of the truth. Not that I care. But because of the love you guys believe you have for Peace Square and desperately wanting Peace Square to come back, I'm honestly telling you here now, once again after I did with Tunded North four years ago, that 